Hi my dear Flustube friends, this is Needle Ninja, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to tell you all about my new start. Please enjoy! Okay, so this is the beauty that catched my eye. The name of this pattern is the Colors of the Water and uh, this is designed by a German retail company. The designer, I don't want to butcher her name, but I think it's Dorothy Kanzi and Ute Schier. And um, every important information about their shop will be in a link below. So please, if you're interested, check them out. They have a Facebook, they have an Instagram, they have a lot of information and it's a beautiful shop with the beautiful patterns. And I just fell in love with this one. I was searching for it in um, on the net. I forgot how it, what's the name of it, but somebody helped me. I asked in a Facebook group and they were very helpful people. So this pattern calls for 11 colors. These are all the colors. And because this company is using a special uh, silk, which I didn't order because I just ordered a PDF chart, but their products, the pictures of it, they just they just look perfect. But because I wanted to stitch on it as fast as possible, I'm using my DMC colors. There is a conversion uh, after you buy this chart. And it's also uh, very helpful that this pattern is uh, convertible to pattern keeper. So it's safely in my Android tablet and I'm just having Yesterday I started and I'm just having a blast and I did these two squares. Well, I'm sure with the silk and after I checked other pictures, I can see that there is a little bit difference. It's um, not as well, if I stitch with their silk colors, for example, these two colors, this is the block with the, these two colors. I think there should be more. Um, how do you say contrast in this col in, in these two colors but uh, I was thinking about changing one of them to the lighter or to darker but well I will just leave it like this as they say so with a good light and after it's all finished I am sure it will look lovely okay so let me tell you how I started and what I did and maybe after we can stitch, we can finish this part. Okay, so let's go for it. So let me get this off and let me introduce you my fabric. So uh, I picked the 28 count fabric. This is white, what was it? Zweigart Brittany, I think. And this is the first time I'm stitching on this fabric, well, full cross. I have one uh, project, I think it's Mickey's Coffee, when I use uh, 28 count. And uh, on that project I'm stitching uh, with a 10 stitch. And well, I really don't like it because I cannot see the holes. But this, I have a huge piece of this fabric, that's why I already searched the edges with my sewing machine and because I have like I don't know two meters a really huge one so that's why first what I did I didn't want to measure and count and recount so I just find the corner I measured like uh, 10 centimeters which is like I think three and a half inches and I make a, made a mark oh sorry and uh, you all know I, I need the grids. That's why I, uh, I'm using my friction ball pen, which is erasable by the heat. And I just made the mark here. And then I counted, uh, this is first time for me, like because I, I'm used to stitch in every hole, but because I'm going to stitch it two over two. So that's why I counted like, Normally I count like two, four, six, eight, ten, and I make a mark and that's my one 10 by 10 block. But in this case, 10 by 10 blocks mean 20 holes. So I count like, well, 
20 holes and then I make a mark and because this pattern calls uh, it's the size of this pattern is a perfect square and it's 175 stitches by 175 stitches and because I didn't want to grid I don't usually grid all of my fabric just the part where I stitch so that's why 175 well it's 80 something stitches so I just made I wanted to find the center for to know where to cut my fabric so I just made uh, nine grids so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine I find basically almost center and I did the same thing on this side so I have 90 by 90 and then I folded that whole fabric in a, on that line and then I fold it again here where the 90 stitches are so I know that then I found the place where to cut the fabric so I didn't measure yeah I just grit like one what is it one quarter of the project so that's how I usually do it and well there's no room not so much room for a mistake so that's how I did that and what else then I start to stitch it uh, with the hands in hand I put the hoop around but now because I didn't know if I will like it or if I will really want to stitch on it but yeah I love it and that's why I <laughs> um, there was a pandemic because I'm really into pandemic right now so in my stand there was a pandemic project but it just I took it off and I made a space for the colors of the water which I really enjoy so let me make it ready for a little stitch with me session so I will I will stretch my fabric because I really love to have a really tight fabric in a hoop or in a Q-snaps that's what makes my stitching even more comfortable so I pull it as much as possible and first I was thinking that I would like to stitch on a 14 count but then I saw somebody doing it post a picture on Instagram and she was doing 20 28 counts and because this pattern in this pattern it's actually full coverage but not full cover coverage because between all those um, squares there is just a blank space so that's why I really like that uh, in a 14 counts well there will be a big holes in a fabric but in a 28 counts this is really it gives you a cute texture and if you see I don't know how you can see it through the camera but because there there is a blank space it actually goes like three-dimensional so that's really cool Okay, and then uh, for uh, the um, the fabric that is like hanging around my hoop, I just like, I catch it with these guys. I don't know who, what are these. These are like silicone, I don't know, clamps. I think they are for uh, uh, sewing machines. Um, what this, I don't know how to say threads so just let me let me get this out of the way and yeah well I if you watched my last video I was talking about like about my uh, summer vacation in Slovakia and my 14 hours flight so I think I found my something new project which I'll be Hopefully I will still enjoy it after three weeks, still stitching on this. So yeah, we're ready. I think we're ready. So let me put it into my stand. This is the, I think, what was it? Uh, oh, there will be a link 
in description. It's Z frame. Okay, there will be a name down below. Okay, so I think we're good here and we're ready to stitch, I think. So I'll be using color number 503 and let me stitch this part. Okay. So here we go. I'll be stitching with the color number 503. And look at my pattern keeper. Now I realized today it was my day off and I stitched the whole day. All, all the time I have free, I just stitched. So I'm like, today I stitched 915 <laughs> full crosses. That's like, should be a record. Okay, so I'm stitching, as I said, two over two full cross and I start with a loop start so this is first time for me stitching not every hole but every second hole so I I do it the same way just first uh, half of the cross stitch I do first in a row and then I cover the second leg going back. So when I was uh, stitching this first part, it was really chaotic because <laughs> I, I was trying to stick the needle in every hole and made the funny stitches and I thought like, okay, this is not for me maybe, but then I it's really amazed me like if you love something you'll learn so quickly and you'll get used to it and you'll actually like it so I'm really liking so basically my plan stitching on 14 count fabric it's actually well I'm stitching 28 so it means like the same uh, the size of the crosses are the same as they will be on a 14 count so yeah I like how big they are but this company they advise you to stitch on 36 count and more I think there was 36 and 40 But well, I don't think I have that kind of count of fabric and I never stitched on linen and I don't think I can grit nicely on linen so that's why I'm not even trying to. Maybe. I will never say never but well, not, not now. And my eyesight, well, it's not going to get how do you say it's just going downhill so I'm not sure if I ever challenge the higher counts but this fabric what was it Zweigart Brittany it's really so smooth and the holes are so clear and really loving it So I saw many stitchers stitching like two over two. Never had a chance to do that, but that's really fun. So if you, yeah, just keep trying the new things. I'm not saying I will stick with this for every project I have, but it's really great for a little change and it's really enjoyable so uh, okay I so I said like you saw that I'm starting with the loop start and how I end my thread well I will show you I don't like to flip my hoop if I stitch in a hand I will 
not care and I will just flip and push the um, hide the uh, thread under the stitches but because I don't like to flip the hoop I'm hiding the stitches from the top of the fabric and it covers beautifully and it's so smooth I think I'm really not pulling my thread too too tight so that's why for that kind of finish it's really easy to do and it's not a lot of work at all what was the problem for me <laughs> was like now there are like all the stitches are in the row there not there's no blank space but counting like if there is like two you know I will normally I would be like one two and then I will stick the needle but now I have to, to double everything so that was kind of new for me it was a little struggle but now because there are stitches above and like it's guiding you where to stick your needle so really this is easy I know I'm saying this too too much but I really love it and I really love how this looks and in their shops they they have a lot of different kind of samplers and I think the, the designer is I read it somewhere that she is a historian how do you say that she is working in a museum museum and yeah there will be a link to their Facebook so please go and check them it's really interesting their stories how they make the patterns how they use the silk and this is their actually most famous most how do you say cel celebral no mm, the best uh, best seller this colors of water well everybody loves it because it's beautiful so maybe after this roll I will and my threads so I can show you how I do that so this is my last cross maybe I can go more but okay and I will go to some hole close to where I finished and I will go under you know can you see the needle there under a few three maybe four stitches and I will just push the needle down the fabric so it's now sticking on the back of the fabric okay let's go with again so come up with some hole go in the middle of your stitch push the needle through and pull it behind on the back of the fabric and then come out somewhere anywhere pull the thread as strong as you can and just snip it really close so that's that that's how I stitched this so let me mark where did we go till the grid line can we reach together 1000 stitches how many oh okay one more let's go for it are you still with me <laughs> so I cut my thread like I don't know how much is this 40 80 80 centimeters so it means like I cannot count right but as most of you say from the top of your fingers till the elbow some that kind of lengths okay 
so loop start and first left leg of the crosses I like to start in this direction that's what I'm used to and I'm still and I still didn't decide what's the how what's the best way for me to stitch on this pattern so now what I'm doing I'm doing kind of like a cross country in one block so first I stitched this blue color then I stitched because there's just blue and black it's really easy once you do one color then you just filling the empty spaces with another color so you don't have to check your pattern all the time that's why I thought like for my plane this will be easy to stitch I'm still deciding if I want to bring my lap stand but maybe no and if I will bring that I don't think I will bring it to the plane because well I'm not traveling with a business class so it's really very tight seat in an economy class and with my son next to me I'm sure we will be fighting for how do you say where you put your elbows you know the arm 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 rest am I right so just hold it in my hands and stitch and I actually I don't know if I ever told you that story but I fell in love with the uh, full coverage when I was traveling I think it was home or from home back to Japan and I saw one lady stitching she didn't have in that time that was really long time ago maybe 20 years ago she didn't have a, a hoop or Q-snaps but she had it on a like a wooden bar like you know like pin pin and the, the fabric was pinned to uh, the bars and she was stitching some it wasn't it wasn't big one it was like I don't know maybe like bigger than this hoop a little bit and it was uh, some small girl sleeping in a bed with a with like a starry sky so what did I say? starry? no like a lot of stars in the sky <laughs> and it was so beautiful so I think half of my flight which was in that time, I think, 11 hours. I stood <laughs> like one seat behind, so I will not bother her. And I was just watching <laughs> like a stalker through her shoulder. And I think then she noticed and I said some something like, that's so lovely, that's so beautiful, and I never see that kind of things. And then she didn't care that I'm still watching. So I, I just asked her, yeah, I ask if I can watch. And she was kind enough to let me. So I'm sure that I slept when that stitchy lady slept. So that's my first experience with the full coverage. And I was hooked. That was it for me. So that one lady on an airplane. So I don't know, maybe I can <laughs> I can be some motivation for somebody on my plane. Okay, last few stitches, last four stitches, and that's it for this color, and that will be it for today's video hope you enjoyed and 
I'm really looking forward to work more on this project and to do more uploads and show you how beautiful it's coming and hopefully these two colors 503 and 502 will show more after I stitch around it so that's it last stitch and as I finish I don't want to finish in this last uh, row because well there will be a blank space so I will I will come here for example here and push through and through under and through and that's it very easy and very very fun okay guys so hope you like this video too let me know how you like this project and if you mm, well have experience with their shop or do you have another patterns from there so yeah it was this was fun and i'm looking forward to work on it so everybody stay safe and have a beautiful day and happy stitching thanks for watching bye